So what I want to do in this video is look at a way of relating the delta function to Fourier series. And in particular, I want to get a Fourier series representation for the delta function. Uh, and so let's just recall that for, for any function f of x, its Fourier series is given by uh, sum n equals minus infinity to infinity, uh, cn e to the i n x, and that cn is equal to 1 over 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f of x e to the minus i n x dx. Okay, uh, that's good. So what happens when we try and do this for the delta function? Well, our cn is going to be 1 over 2 pi integral minus pi to pi delta of x e to the minus i n x dx. Okay, well we're integrating over that peak, so that's good. So that means that we're going to be picking out uh, this point where x is equal to 0, so we're going to have e to the 0, uh, which is 1. So our coefficient is going to be 1 over 2 pi. Okay, uh, easy enough. So we've, so we've got it. Uh, our delta function on the interval minus pi to pi is going to be equal to uh, the sum from n equal minus infinity to infinity e to the i n x over 2 pi. And I want to stress something here, which which maybe you know pe people are, you know, which is easy to forget that when we we're, when we're talking about the Fourier series for a function here, I mean we're not I mean we're not just talking about a single delta of x. We're talking about a periodic delta of x, which is going to have some spike occurring at multiples of two pi. You know we're going to have one at zero. We're going to have one at two pi. One at minus two pi. So another way of writing this, which um, you know, makes explicit this implicit in minus pi to pi periodicity is that we can say that uh, this sum right here on the right hand side going from minus infinity to infinity e to the i n x over 2 pi this is equal to this is equal to a sum with k going from minus infinity to infinity of delta of x minus 2 pi k Right, because I mean, we know that in both cases, these functions should be two pi periodic, right? And so what I'm, what this, what this expression is saying here is just that you have a delta function at every multiple of two pi, and so and so this is is the exact same as this up here. So yeah, so so now that we have that, let's just take a second to appreciate how kind of strange this result is, right? Because I mean, normally with Fourier series, our, co our coefficients decay as n increases because uh, that's convergence. That's saying that as, as n increases, more higher and higher frequency modes uh, have a smaller and smaller importance in the representation for our function. But that's not the case here with our delta function. With our delta function, every n is valued equally. And, that's, and that may be kind of surprising at first because you know, it doesn't look like this is really converging all that well. But then again, you know, this is another instance where uh, the fact that the delta function isn't a function, it's a distribution is important. Because if this was an ordinary function, I'd say, you know, oh, get out of here. This isn't really converging to anything ordinary that we would call a function. But but that's the whole point. It's not a function. Uh, so I think I'll stop here. Um, this 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 result right here is really the most important thing to take away from from this video. Uh, this this result is is really useful, especially improving other uh, other Fourier analysis type um, properties like the Poisson summation formula for example this this shows up there um but yeah I'll I'll, I'll stop here